Who am I speaking with? Hi, my name is uh, Mark Sullivan. I'm with the InteropNet, and we're here in Las Vegas, Nevada. And explain what the InteropNet is to the people who don't know what this is. Well, the InteropNet is a great uh, exhibition for uh, a lot of companies that have uh, new products to show those off to the uh, network engineering public. So you create this huge temporary network, which is behind you, and pretty much, would you say it's probably the best of the best because you got the best hardware and the best people working on it? Well, we'd sure like to believe that. We certainly have a number of fantastic engineers that are involved in this from all over the globe. And let me just show all the volunteers that are working on this. They're here in the room, all these volunteers. And as uh, explained, this is actually built in San Diego, torn down and brought here. Explain. That's correct. Uh, we start building the interop net. We actually start designing it about six months ago. And then about three months ago, we got together in a warehouse, put it all together, uh, and uh, made sure that everything was operational. And then we uh, separate it up and pack it up, throw it in the back of a semi, and drive it out to Las Vegas. All right, now show me, uh, show me the monitor, what's going on, and then let's actually take a look at the network. Okay, that sounds great. What we have here is uh, uh, ScienceLogic uh, uses their uh, product to provide network monitoring for the entire interop. This is the uh, actual monitoring that we have going on uh, within our network right now to uh, show everything that's up down, make sure that everything's live and operational, and that the end user is uh, really not impacted by any kind of outages. We always want to make sure that we are aware of everything that's going on, uh, positive or negative, before the end user uh, is aware. And so what would this tell you and how quickly could you respond before everyone you know, out there starts seeing some major problems happening? Uh, pretty much we can re respond instantaneously. Not only can we respond instantaneously to, uh, to resolve anything, we can actually go back in time and see what it is that occurred and caused the problem. We record every bit of traffic that comes across this network. Excellent. Okay, let's go take a look at the network itself. All right, tell us what we're looking at here. Fantastic. We're really excited this year. We've kind of gotten back to some of the origins of interop, and that is uh, interoperability between primary core switch vendors. This year we have both HP and Cisco. The core of our network that you'll see here is uh, Cisco. We're running uh, the Cisco uh, 6509 series chassis, and uh, you, know, you can see on here we're using F5 within our network for doing all of our load balancing. We have uh, NetOptics and Gigamon uh, doing all of our tapping. What makes the system better uh, than what we had last year is we're actually pushing through a lot more traffic than we did last year. Last year we were doing one gig on the net year, uh, network. This year we're doing 40 gig on the network. So uh, we're very excited about that. It's a, good, uh, a neat milestone for Interop. Excellent, okay, let's go to the next rack. All right, what do we got here? Again, uh, everything that we do on the network uh, is completely redundant. Um, you know, this is uh, the other half of our core of our network, and I'm, the next thing I'll show you is half of our distribution. So what, what do we got here on this rack? Okay, so this is, an exact, this is an exact duplicate of the rack that we just looked at. Everything is absolutely identical. One side goes down, the other side is more than capable of picking up all of the traffic. We also are using, and I need to point this out, JDSU has been a great sponsor for the Interop Net. They're, new, they're a new sponsor, and they've been absolutely fantastic with their testing gear. So that's testing gear from JDSU. Excellent. All right. We're popping into here in a tight space. All right. What do we got here? Okay. Much like the first rack, uh, all of our show floors uh, has uh, our distribution layer. That's what's coming out of this. Cisco's providing us the 6513 uh, Catalyst Series chassis. We have some brand new uh, blades and equipment. I can't really talk too much about them because some of these are pre-production. These haven't even gone out on the market, and we have them right here in the Interop Net. Well, can you say what these pre-production units are doing that the old units can't do? I, I'm sorry. I just can't. All right, well, they sure look good. All right, we move over to the next rack. All right, okay, now what do we got? Okay, fantastic. Uh, what we have here is uh, HP, who's providing the other half of our network. They're providing the distribution layer for the other half of the uh, exhibition hall, as well as uh, a good portion of our uh, uh, training sessions that we ho have here at Interop. All right, so what do we got from HP? Okay, for HP this year, we're using their 12,000 series uh, switches. And the other thing that I'd like to point out is... Uh, uh, some of the uh, fiber that we have provided by Systemax. Very, very handy um, for uh, quick cross patches. So I'm sorry, excuse my ignorance, what does this uh, switch do, this HP switch? Uh, basically, this switch uh, provides uh, uh, all of our connectivity to the on show floor. Excellent. Okay, and then we essentially have a duplicate of it right here. Two of everything. 
Got it. Okay, now what do we got here? What we have here is what we call our network services. This is all of the equipment that provides various uh, services into our network. Uh, this year we're doing a lot of telepresence being provided by Cisco. Uh, obviously we're doing a lot of our uh, load balancing and uh, you know through F5. Uh, and so show me which is which here. Okay, here we have our F5 load balancers. We have our Cisco intrusion uh, uh, prevention system and then uh, you know, what you see down here are the various uh, management uh, tools that we have within our network. I think I mentioned uh, a little bit ago that we're able to capture uh, every single packet that passes through this network. We're using the NetScout product to do that. It's basically a, uh, a detailed uh, packet capture analysis application. It allows us to, to look back in time as to what's what's occurred. So if there's a trouble or something that's interesting to us that we want to go back and take a look at, we're able to do that with that product. And what else do we have on this rack? Okay, in this rack we also have some commodity servers, but we're hosting all of our uh, help desk and network management and monitoring systems uh, here. Quest Software is a vendor that we have in our network this year. Obviously you've already seen a lot of the orange boxes, that's Gigamon, they provide tapping for us. And then another vendor that we have in our network this year that's very exciting is OpenGear, which is an open source platform uh, terminal server. This allows us to get into all of our equipment obviously from the back side. Excellent, and is this redundant the next one or is this something different on the next rack? In the next, in the next rack is, is different equipment. All right, let's see what we got. In our uh, network, we obviously um, you know, have uh, all of our network operations center. All of our end users in the network operations center, this is, this is all the equipment that we use to go through um, uh, to get our connectivity from our end users, that are the engineers that are sitting and, and, and working on the interop net. So can you point to each of the devices? Uh, absolutely, we have our uh, uh, NOC uh, firewall, that's our Cisco ASA. We have our network access uh, to uh, uh, all of the engineers uh, in the back area. Uh, we're doing uh, uh, wireless uh, all throughout the network uh, using uh, the Cisco uh, wireless applications. Hey, Mark, so the, the show is really, I mean, the people on the floor are going to be here tomorrow, and that's when you're going to really see the load. You don't see it now. What are you expecting to see once uh, people start hitting the floor? Well, that's the nice thing, is we never know what we're expecting to see. What, what, what's always unique about this opportunity is that we get to see things that come across here uh, that, that you, that's unusual and you just don't expect. And that's actually one of the things that we like about Interop, is that we can show people uh, how to respond to those things. You, some customers just don't know what's going to come across their network. We can work with people to help them understand how to respond to those unusual situations. So can you tell me in the past years, Working at Interop, what are some of the most unusual things you've had to deal with? You, you know, some of the most unusual ones uh, are, are, are rather amusing, and many of us have, have had to deal with these over the years, but uh, we've seen situations where our customers will come in into their booths and basically wire their WAN routers backwards and uh, start offering DHCP to the entire show floor from their own booth. It gets to be rather amusing. Excellent. Hey, Mark, thanks so much for your time. Thank you very much. Have a great day.